It's time for the Funky Kids Show with your host, Winston Chim, the Mr. Beast of the computer world. Hey, what's up, guys? Winston here, and uh, yeah, welcome to the Funky Kids Show. Hey, yes. It's the 8th of April, and what a few months it has been. Yes, welcome to the show, The Funky Show. We're live on Facebook, Twitch, and YouTube, and we're just getting the streams up and running. We should be good to go. Um, yeah, hello. Welcome, welcome, to the show. welcome to the show, Pig Radio. Let's get some music going on, shall we? Yeah, all right. Okay, so... For 8th of April, we have the agenda. Let's bring up the agenda. Here we go. And for this week, we've got, of course, news and updates on our website, Funky Kit, as well as AMD 3D. And we're going to be doing an unboxing of the uh, ASRock B660 Steel Legend motherboard. And yes, this one's for you, Pig Radio. <laughs> you know what I mean. All right. And then after that, we got Rig Builder, our system configurator developed by my brother Yao. It's a great little tool for getting some prices off Amazon. And uh, it's a good little tool to use if you want to build up a system as well. And then, of course, we got Mods of the Week taken from our Extreme PC Modding Group, which we have over 86,000 members. So thanks, guys, for joining. It's a great place to get some ideas for modding ideas. And, of course, if you have any mods that you want to post, head over there and start posting your mods. And after that, we'll take a break. We'll come back after the break and we'll do got a crypto update. Yes, uh, World of Crypto, lots of things been happening there. Prices have dropped, great discounts, but we'll talk about that in a sec. And then we got something special, it's especially for good, for your man cave. If you have a man cave, if you don't know what a man cave is, <laughs> I think you do anyway. But uh, it's a great little um, kind of wall piece where you can actually mount onto your wall. And uh, it's from Xreart. Xreart? Yeah, it's a Nintendo Game Boy Color frame, which you can actually mount on the wall. And it looks great, and I'll show you that in a sec. And then, of course, we've got some new uh, prize giveaway announcements. And as usual, we'll do some uh, prize giveaways. Look, our Funky Kit t-shirt and merchandise. I was meant to wear a hoodie today, but uh, it's in a wash. So uh, I'll wear that uh, in our next week's show. And then, of course, we got, uh, uh, we'll wrap it up with next week's uh, preview. All right, so how's everybody? Looking good. We're live on Facebook, Twitch, and YouTube. So welcome to the show, the Funky Kit Show Live with your host, Winston. That's me. <laughs> And uh, let's get the show on the road. Okay, hey, Rattle Row, how's it going? <laughs> the Mr. Beast of the computer world, yes. L giving away lots of prizes, as usual, <laughs> every week. All right, okay, so uh, let's head over to the website and see what's going on. All right. So we've done a couple of reviews in the past week, so we'll take a look at this. Uh, we have just released today uh, a full video as well as a review. It's the Thermaltake Tough Ram RC DDR5 4832 gig kit. So these kits uh, work; you know, they work as a standalone memory kit, but if you want the extra cooling, you can actually mount these onto a compatible cooler from Thermaltake, such as the Flow RC. Uh, Ultra, which I have right here, if you can see, if you go, right there, right, so this is the, uh, the Flow RC, yes, here you go, here you, here you go, the Flow RC Ultra 240, so CPU done in the week as well, uh, nice cooler, does the cooling of the CPU and memory at the same time, so the, the memory itself you need is this one here is a Thermaltake Tough Ram RC DDR5 or you, they do them in DDR4 as well the RC DDR4 uh, but this one of course the review is the DDR4 4800 uh, memory kit 32 gig memory kit and the thing about this is that um, it actually overclocks really well uh, in fact I've actually overclocked it to 5600 or actually 5800 surprisingly so they use um, the Hynix SK or SK Hynix memory chips and they really clock really well. So these are the uh, Tough Ram RC DDR5 uh, 4800 32 gig kit uh, and it goes really well with of course the uh, Flow RC uh, AIO cooler from uh, Thermaltake. And um, yeah, here you go, SK Hynix chips, very nice. They overclock really well. 
Um, they don't come with any RGB. Uh, you can see it's nice heat spread, a nice thick, tough kind of heat spreader there. And uh, you notice there's holes at the top, which you need to mount onto the um, the all-in-one coolant memory block, and have screws that you actually mount to secure it. And uh, yeah, DDR5, 4800, uh, the cast latency is 40, 40, 40, 77. It's quite high, it sounds quite high, but you expect that for DDR5 speeds. And these are the uh, screw mounts that you need to secure your um, AIO memory water block onto this one. So yeah, very good performance. They clock really well. I've, I've actually overclocked them to 5800, uh, DDR5 5800, you can see that. I upped the uh, memory to um, DDR5 5800 and uh, you can see the memory speeds there. I set everything else to auto DDR5 5800 and um, I put this voltage to OC demand and just in case it requires extra voltage and I'm getting really good speeds check it out yep 2900 and it's uh, speeds memory speeds and I'm getting really good temperatures from the uh, thermal take flow RC memory cooler about 33, 34 degrees, so it's not too bad. 32 there on display on the LCD of the uh, RC Flow Ultra, the um, memory cooler there. But yeah, check out the full review and the view on our website, the Tough Ram RC DDR5 4800 32K kit. Very nice. All right, we also have this one, also reviewed uh, by myself. This is the Gigabyte Z690 Aorus Ultra. Motherboard. This takes only DDR5 RAM, and um, very nice board. It has these massive heat sinks, both on the uh, VRM and MOSFET. The top right here. The I/O hood is massive as well with the heat sink. And you've got this massive uh, heat plate, heat shield for the uh, M.2s for the SSDs. You've got three underneath here, and then one on top of right here, which is massive. You can check out also the video on our website, as also on YouTube as well. Z690 supports all of the Intel 12th gen processors, very nice board, and this one, um, if you look at the pictures there, very nice, Z690 Aorus Ultra, supports only the uh, socket LGA 1700 Intel 12th gen processors, this massive heatsink really helps with cooling the M.2s, in fact, with the RAID software that Gigabyte is included, you can actually mount three M.2 SSDs to give you like a RAIDed kind of configuration and that'll give you super performance like over 21,000 megabytes per second. Yeah, it's crazy. All right. It's uh, steel reinforced uh, DDR5 DIM slots as well as PCI5 slots. Diagnostic LEDs at the top right there with the, um, with the power on, off button. So it's a nice board. I quite like it. It um it costs around about three hundred and forty nine dollars, so it's, it's a price. Is that I think it's about right. I've seen actually these six ninety boards much higher than that, like five hundred, six hundred dollars. So this one three fifty is okay for a Z six ninety, and it's a kind of mid to high end um, kind of market there. So yeah, check out the full review on our website at fuckingit.com. It's the Gigabyte Z six ninety Aorus Ultra DDR five motherboard there. All right, other reviews, we have this uh, Asus Tough Gaming uh, M4 Air gaming mouse. As you can see, it has uh, this kind of triangular uh, design with some kind of uh, gaps in there. It's uh, cooling, I said. Give you that extra cooling. Plus, it makes the mouse really lightweight. It's a wide mouse, but uh, you can check out the video as well. And um, Tough Gaming brand there. Around about fifty dollars, so it's okay. It's not too bad. Um, I've seen a lot of uh, kind of lightweight mouse now. Cooler Master also does one. Corsair does one. Um, of course, now everybody's moving on to the the kind of lightweight mouse mice gaming mouse. So yeah, the Asus Tough Gaming um, M4 Air gaming mouse review. Check out the review on our website. All right. And finally, we've got this one, the Genesis uh, Lith 400 RGB Silent Programmable Keyboard. 
This is interesting, it has RGB. It's, it's got this kind of a, a low profile key cap kind of design. And um, it's cost over 65 euros. So it's around about uh, 70 plus 80 dollars there. And uh, I'll see if I can get some uh, closer shots of the actual keyboard. You can see it's got the low profile key caps. And um, what kind of switches it has? Let's have a look. It's got this kind of um, gaming switch. Yeah. Low actuation point. So very low actuation there. Response time, 8 milliseconds. It's a nice game keyboard. The X scissors, that's it. The X scissors switches. I haven't seen these before. These are the new X scissors switches that Genesis have uh, come up with. And you've got the full key band and also, of course, the arrows up and down. So it's not a, a, a kind of TL, TKL keyboard, but it's, it's a full keyboard with RGB and it's flat. It's quite nice. 65 euros, 75, 80 dollars. So it's okay. So those are the reviews that we've done in the past week. We also have, of course, if you want to check out the Thermaltake Flow RC Ultra Cooler, AIO Cooler. That's also on our website, and of course you've got the keyboards from Deepcool, the 65% keyboard, and they've got this HP V10 RGB RAM as well that we did last week, and then the Turf Gaming um, AX5400 wireless Wi-Fi 6 uh, gaming router there. So in terms of reviews, head over to funky.com to check out some of the reviews that we have. And of course, check out our YouTube channel, lots of videos on there. Uh, if you missed out on some of the reviews that we've done, then you can also check out the YouTube channel as well. All right, so let's head back over there in the chat and see what's going on. Hey, Aries25, welcome to the show. Garanik, Garanok, 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 welcome to the show. I have had an ASRock since 2016, works like a truck. <laughs> yeah, they are great boards. Oh no, you got uh, a DOA on the uh, Z690 Steel Legend. I'm not sure if you had a bad batch. We've had some uh, users saying that they've ordered some from Newegg and uh, they also had a DOA as well on those. Uh, and second time round after they RMA made it, they also had the DNA. So the array. So it could be a batch problem. Uh, I would contact um, your supplier and also maybe send an email to uh, Azrog and see if there's a problem with the batch. Um, but so far, I've had no issues yet. Fingers crossed. All right. Okay. So let's have a look at the news. See what's going on over the uh, the website it has got got quite a lot of bit of news as well all right so as rock mentioned there um this z690 aqua so this is the super high-end board with built-in water cooling monoblock and everything they actually they managed to put a um intel's highest flagship chip which is the uh, intel core i9 12900k s which was released uh, only last week and they've actually made some uh, huge overclocking um, kind of, you know, benchmarks and broke some records. So well done to ASRock on that. You might want to check it out. It's a full article on there. Um, of course, a lot of the new, um, a lot of the motherboard manufacturers have released new BIOSes for their supporting the new 12900KS processor from Intel. So check out the BIOS. If you want to use the flagship chip, you might want to check out the, the new BIOS as well. Um, yeah, other news include, oh, look at this, uh, Max Payne. Remember that? Max Payne, the game? Well, um, Remedy and Rockstar are joining together, collaboration, and they're probably releasing a remake of the Max Payne 1 and 2. So that'd be interesting to see how, uh, what kind of graphics engine they'll use on that. And other news include, of course, the Unreal Five engine, which was announced last uh, just week, this week just gone, and uh, Unreal. Uh, I'm a big fan of Unreal, Unreal Engine, and Unreal Engine Five was released, and uh, I'm super excited to see what they can do with that. Uh, I heard that they're going to make a, a Tomb Raider with Unreal Engine Five. Uh, of course, if you watched Matrix, um, the latest one, they have the Matrix uh, Unreal Five 
uh, experience. So you want to check that out on YouTube. Yeah, lots of news on um, with that. Let's see what else is there. Ah, uh, yes, this one. Anker make M5 the fast. Well, the fast. They claim the fastest uh, 3D printer available, and um, that'd be interesting. Up to five times faster. There's a there's a Kickstarter page which you can actually check it out. So it's Anker make M5, world's fastest. Well, they claim it, the world's fastest uh, 3D printer. And I say we are 3D, uh, the 3D printer, why? Because I think a lot of people now are using 3D printers to make some of their mods. Yeah, I've seen a lot of uh, mods now using 3D printers to print out like parts. Uh, I know Mike Petrins and all the few other models that I know use 3D printers to actually print out some of the parts which you can use to mod your PC. So uh, I haven't had the kind of time to look into it but if I was a, a, a true kind of modder I'll probably get myself involved with 3d printing as well so that could be something I'll look into the future I'll check this out uh, a Vietnamese retailer have actually bought a load of this like hundreds of uh, Nvidia RTX a4000 GPUs these are uh, graphics GPUs I guess are really were aimed at workstations, you know, and uh, apparently they you know, bought hundreds of these to put into mining rigs. <laughs> yeah, uh, apparently one of these fully built with eight of these cards in there can give you up to 300 mega hash per second. So give you an idea, oh sorry, 500, 500 mega hash per second. So give you an idea what that means. You could be looking at raking around about uh, up to three, three to four hundred dollars US per month on one of these uh, rigs, fully loaded with eight of these cards. The total investment you're looking at about thirteen to fourteen thousand per game uh, mining rig. So it's not something that you could uh, really buy just like that. But just saying, it's uh, crazy that mining is still a big thing. All right. Uh, let's a couple of things. Oh, this one's interesting also. Intel are planning to release their block scale technology. So this is get energy efficient blockchain hashing. So in other words, uh, they're going to be start producing or they plan to produce a GPU dedicated for mining. So watch out for that. That'd be interesting. Um, Oh, Elon, Elon, or Elon, or Elon, Elon, Elon Musk. Yeah, they actually bought a 9.2 stake in Twitter. So that's almost 10%, but, but, and now he's actually on the board of Twitter, which allows him to make, well, he could vote. I think he could vote, could he vote? But anyway, he can actually sit on the board and actually try to pressure some of the guys on the board members to make some changes in Twitter. We could see an edit button in Twitter. So that'd be interesting. All right, so so that's pretty much it on the news front. Um, again, check out the full reviews on all of the stuff we've done in the past week on our website, thefuckit.com, as well as watch our YouTube's channel for all the videos. Give us a like, of course, share content as well. All right, let's head back to the chat and see what's going on. Thanks, Aries25, for subscribing. Oh, by the way, uh, you do get benefits for subscribing to our channel on Twitter, or sorry, Twitch, uh, twitch.tv slash funkykit. And the reason why I say that is every month, or at the end of every month, we have a premium prize that we're going to give away for our Twitch subscribers only. So uh, last month we're giving away, yes, we're giving away a Core i910 900K processor, retail value over $500. We give that away last month, only available for our Twitch subscribers. So if you want to be involved and uh, with that kind of prize giveaway, the premium prize giveaway, head over to twitch.tv slash funkykit and subscribe. So this month, I haven't announced it, we're going to be giving away another um, premium prize and I'll announce that later in the week as well. So uh, there's all these benefits to subscribe to our channel at uh, twitch.tv slash funkykit. All right. Next up, we have uh, our sister site AMD3D. 
uh, anything to do with AMD related uh, news topics, anything like Ferriper, Ryzen, AMDs and Ra Radeons, gaming news, Xbox uh, S and Xs and of course PS5s, eSports, anything to do with that kind of stuff, we're going to head over to amd3d.com. So let's do that right now. Okay. Some interesting news here, Epic Games announced the Matrix Awakening with the Unreal Engine 5 which I just talked about. So the Engine, Unreal Engine 5 experience, so you want to check that out, Unreal Engine, a massive kind of uh, news for this this month and also of course this year with uh, up and coming releases, I can't wait to see what um, developers will use this Unreal Engine 5, what kind of games going to be reused, released, uh, Her Tomb Raider is going to be one of those, so it's going to be fantastic. Um, also, we got an AMD update on the chipset driver with support for USB 4. So yeah, so we're going to be seeing USB 4. So uh, we've had, of course, USB 2 has been around for a while. Then uh, 3.0, 3.1, we had then 3.2, Gen 1, Gen 2. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> loads. And now we have USB 4, finally. So uh, this is going to hit around about 40 gigabits per second. Um, it's still kind of, I wouldn't say slow, but it's hitting almost the, um, you know, the uh, lightning cable kind of speed, you know, that, that kind of, uh, um, yeah, so we'll see, we'll see. But let's, let's take a look in that. The um, USB 4. So they're going to call it Gen 4. Um, Supports Wi-Fi 6E with uh, 5.2 Bluetooth with aud LE audio, whatever that means. Real-time ANC. Uh, supports DDR5 as well. Um, so, yeah, I can't wait to see what USB 4 has to offer. Um, it could be as fast as Thunderbolt, but Thunderbolt is still king at the moment. But Thunderbolt devices have always been expensive. The good thing about USB, it should be be I'm hoping it is uh, there's no mention about it's not compatible with the older USB devices so I'm, I'm guessing you could still stick a USB uh, 3 or 2 device and you'll still run uh, not the full speed of course the maximum speed that USB 2 or 3 will run at but it should use the same connector I guess or maybe just the USB C type be the case um, it should be compatible, backward compatible. Let's see anyway, coming uh, 2022, Q2. So I'm hoping the new boards will support them. Um, hence the AM5 boards from AMD. All right, so what else do we have? Um, well, Max Payne 2 and Max Payne 1. Uh, collaboration with uh, Remedy, Entertainment and Rockstar. So we could see uh, a remake of Max Payne 1 and 2. Uh, that'll be interesting. And Minis Forum. Minis Forum released a uh, Elite Mini B550 Mini Gaming PC with a Ryzen 5, uh, 7 5700G APU. So um, I do like the AMD APUs because they have the built-in Radeon graphics in there. Although it's not like super high-end, it will get some kind of basic 1080p gaming, I guess. Don't expect super huge like frame rates, but it's kind of a stopover. If you if you need a graphics card but you haven't couldn't afford one yet, you could get one of these, uh, the the 5600 or 5700G APU. Uh, in fact, I'm using one myself. Um, I'm just waiting for a graphics card I could just whack in. And then you could have uh, both the Ryzen, um, you know, the technologies uh, from AMD, as well as, of course, all of their um, new chipsets to run on the system. So, yeah, There's, these are the bare bones. I do like the, the kind of uh, all in one uh, PCs, mini PCs. All right, this is interesting. Epic Games and Lego are going to build a metaverse. So uh, Epic Games, you know, they're massive. And of course, Lego will do our recognition, you you know, for, for kids and stuff like that. So they're going to build a metaverse for family friendly slash kids, which means then you could actually maybe, I don't know, set up your own store or maybe, I don't know, just do anything with that, within that metaverse, right? So uh, that'd be interesting. I'd uh, love to see how we'll 
this will develop into a more kind of um, encompassing a lot of the families and stuff like that. It's a good it's a good way to teach kids how to build stuff and learn how to you know maybe code maybe within that metaverse. All right, so um, of course last week we mentioned oh, AMD released this uh, Ryzen 7 5800X3. They announced it, sorry. Um, so it was meant to be launched at the end of April, but now uh, it was leaked. Some benchmark test results were leaked. And uh, this is the new uh, AMD Ryzen 7 uh, 5800X3D, uh, which, uh, which includes the 3D cache, yeah, the V cache. And um, it gives you better performance, I guess, slightly. But overall, it's um, it's not it's not too bad. I mean, it, it's 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 slower, of course, slower than the the flagship Intel chip, the 1200K. Uh, but it's, it's still a decent chip for the price. You're looking at $400 for this, so 450. So it's not bad at all, actually. Um, if I was going to get one. Um, the Ryzen, the Ryzen 9 is still a bit pricey for for my liking, if for what it's worth. Uh, the Ryzen 7 though, it's a good price. 5800 uh, X3D is, is a good one. So yeah, I could go for this. All right, and other news. Let's have a look at the news. We have um, I saw that one. Yep. Ryzen 7, uh, Xbox controllers now um, can actually switch between TV input and the actual console. That's something that is pretty neat. You, you don't have to actually go to the screen to uh, to change to the TV. You can switch it back on uh, via the controller. It's interesting. Um, USB. Yep. Where else we have in news? And uh, here we go. Tomb Raider. Built on Unreal Engine 5, which I just talked about, so I can't wait to see that. Uh, there's a state of Unreal 2022, 2022. So this will probably get released, or we'll know more about it towards the end of the year. Uh, oh, this is also interesting. The Doom mod with ray tracing, ray tracing added. Yeah, so you need, a, of course, a, an RTX NVIDIA card for that. But uh, they've actually ray traced a Doom game. So for guys, for you guys who don't know what Doom is, Doom was uh, one of those early pioneers of 3D uh, first-person shooters. And uh, way back, like early 90s, it was released, and Doom was like just blew everyone's mind out. But anyway, they're gonna. They've someone actually modded a Doom game here with the uh, ray tracing. So that's interesting. But you need a lot of. Um, kind of updates and mods and can you need to really configure some of the files a bit complicated but yeah. all right so that's pretty much it on the amd 3d side um, again if you have any amd related news send them over i'll just start posting them and of course uh if you want to catch up on any of the amd related news head over to amd3d.com all right so that's um covered let's head back to the chat and see what's going on NATO R82. Any news on the AMD three uh, AMD Ryzen 7000? Um, not yet, not yet. But uh, I'm, I'm I'm thinking we should be getting some more news around about kind of uh, summertime uh, with a launch around about autumn. So we'll see, we'll see. But uh, with the new 7000 Ryzen, um, you're looking at a new board, more most likely a new board with an AM5 socket, the LGA uh, 1718, I think they call it. Um, so we'll see we'll see we'll have more news towards the to, uh, going into the summer yeah faster usb always welcome nice to see a 40 gig uh gigabits per second coming soon yeah i'd love to see how that, that will improve that'll mean people using external hard drives would be perfect because uh i i do that as well so a lot of video editing stuff i do yes it's great to have it stored on your hard drive on your laptop but there's always a risk that things could happen and and touch wood you know uh it happened to me only once but yeah when the hard drive goes that's it all your files are gone so i usually back it up or make a copy of it of my video files on an external drive whether it be a nas uh, network attached storage or a, a usb external drive and and that's what i do 
and if you have a faster drive why not that's all the good that's all the better because you can actually transfer files faster uh, with the new USB 4 if it comes out so we'll see we'll see a lot more uh, USB 4 devices uh, when USB 4 USB 4 becomes more mainstream all right so news and updates on our funky kit and uh, AMD websites all done let's move on to our next topic and that is the unboxing of the ASRock B5 uh, B660 yes the ASRock B660 Steel Legend motherboard so uh, enjoy the video and we'll see you in a after this video okay Hey, what's up guys, Winston here, and today we'll be taking a quick look at the ASRock B660 Steel Legend motherboard. The ASRock B660 Steel Legend motherboard uses Intel's latest B660 chipset, supporting all of the latest Intel 12th gen on the link processors. Now the main difference between the B660 versus the H670 is with the PCI lanes. The B660 chipset only offers six PCI lanes and eight PCI3 lanes, but it does offer support for DDR4 RAM with speeds of up to DDR4 5000OC. It comes with six SATA ports and two Hyper M.2 slot for your SSDs, as well as one uh, M.2 for your Wi Fi module. It has one PCI5 times 16 slot and one PCI4 times 16 slot, as well as two. A PCI 3 times one slot and for connectivity it comes with the Dragon 2.5 gigabit LAN as well as the 7.1 HD Nahimic audio and of course it comes with all of the ASRock unique features including the Dr. Moss and the Polychrome RGB. Although this motherboard is aimed at the mainstream market with the B660 chipset I'm still expecting some decent performance so let's not waste any time put this into our test rig and see how it performs but before we do that Let's do a quick unboxing and we'll see you in a bit. Alright, let's do a quick unboxing of the ASRock B660 Steel Legend motherboard. Let's have a look inside the box. Alright, we have the software setup guide and the uh, Steel Legend postcard. Very nice. And also the driver disc. Next we have the uh, quick installation guide. Yep. All right. And here we have the IO shield for your backplate and a keycap. Yes, yeah, still that new keycap. We have a pair of SATA cables. Okay. And I think we have one, two, three, four. Yep. Four M.2 SSD screws. And we have a Steel Legend keyring, very nice. And finally, we have a Velcro straps for your uh, cable management. All right, let's take a look at the motherboard itself. And here we go. Uh, we have the ASRock B660 Steel Legend motherboard. It's very nice. It has the uh, black gray cameo design, as you can see. Very nice. This motherboard supports all of the uh, latest Intel 12th gen Old Lake processors on the LG1700 socket. And uh, we're going to take a look at the top right here. We have the 8 pin PCIe power for your motherboard. And then we have the heat sink here at the top. And also on the side here, which covers the IO panel. Okay. Also at the top we have uh, pin headers for your CPU cooling, a total of uh, 1, 2 and 3. And uh, there are RGB headers as well for your ASRock Polychrome Sync, a total of 2. And next we have a total of 4 DDR4 DIMM slots supporting speeds of up to DDR4 5000OC. And, uh, and next we have the 24 pin ATX power connector right there and USB 3 
and four SATA ports on the side right there and also additional two more here all right there are more fan headers here and here and uh, a load of uh, other connectors including USB 3 USB 2 and uh, more uh, pinouts for your RGB all right Here's the M.2 Wi-Fi module connector. We have uh, M.2 SSD connectors right here and also here as well, the Hyper M.2. Right, let's have a look at the PCI slots. We have one PCI 5 times 16 slot here and also two additional PCI 3 times 1 slot and one PCI times 3 16 slot there. All right, now let's have a look at the uh, I.O. Okay, we'll uh, start on the left here. We have a USB ports and also PS2 keyboard and mouse. There's the HDMI a display port, USB-C connector right here. There's also a clear CMOS button, more USB uh, ports, uh, the Dragon 2.5 gigabit LAN, and the array of audio connectors. All right. Okay, so yeah, it's a very nice board, has this nice design, the Steel Series design, and uh, yeah, it should perform pretty well. Uh, we're going to be mounting an Intel Core i9 12900KF, uh, old late processor, the 12th gen, and uh, with some nice DDR4 RAM, as well as one terabyte of PCI4 SSD. So yeah, I'm expecting some decent performance from this board. So um, yeah, let's put this into our test rig and uh, see how it goes. All right, so that was a quick unboxing of the ASRock B660 Steel Legend motherboard. All said and done, I was quite impressed with the overall performance of the ASRock B660 Steel Legend. I originally thought that this motherboard was aimed at the low end budget market, but the performance it offers says otherwise. However, it does lack some of the features that you might find on the more higher end enthusiast boards, such as the diagnostic LEDs, onboard power on and reset buttons, lightning gaming ports, and possibly a larger IO hood and extra PCIe 4 x 16 slots. Although the B660 has limited PCIe 4 lanes, it's still a very capable chipset and allow manufacturers to produce a more affordable motherboard suitable for the latest Intel 12th gen Odd Lake processors while at the same time supporting DDR4 RAM. I do like the distinctive black, white, silver cameo design of the ASRock Steel Legend series, which I think goes really well with most PC builds. What's more, the LEDs that you get on the ASRock Polychrome RGB Sync is bright, attractive and really makes the board stand out. We used an Intel Core i9 12900KF processor during our tests and we managed to get some really good scores in all of our benchmarks. It produced a Cinebench R23 score of 26,674 multi-core and 2,044 single core. For PC Mark 10, we got a score of 7,949 and a score of 10,428 for Pass Mark 9. For UL's latest Procyon photo editing suite, we got a score of 8,548 and 3,397 for the video editing suite. And finally, for Time Spy and Fire Strike, we got a decent score of 5,371 and 13,289 respectively. If you're after an affordable motherboard based on the B660 chipset and you're not considering CPU overclocking, then the ASRock B660 Steel Legend is definitely worth a look. It offers decent performance and supports all of the latest Intel 12th gen Odd Lake processors from Intel, plus you can use your existing DDR4 RAM. 
you can check out the full review on our website at funkykit.com. And there you have it, that was a quick look at the ASRock B660 Steel Legend motherboard aimed at the mainstream market and supports all the latest Intel 12th gen Alder Lake processors with support for DDR4 RAM with speeds of up to DDR4 5000OC. It offers decent performance at a price that's extremely affordable and you can use your existing DDR4 RAM. Hope you enjoyed this video, give us a like and leave a comment down below. Don't forget you can actually buy this via links in the description and of course visit our website for more news, reviews and hot tips. Oh yeah, don't forget hit the subscribe button for more. Until next time, this is Winston for FunkyKit.com. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed that video. That was a short video of the unboxing of the ASRock B660 Steel Legend motherboard supporting DDR4 RAM and all of the Intel latest 12th gen processors. And uh, yes, big video, that one's for you. And you know what I mean. <laughs> all right, okay, you can check out the full review on our website at funkygit.com as well as the same video on YouTube. So uh, give us a like and of course share our content as well. All right, so unboxing and uh, done, and uh, let's do the next part, and which would be yes, the rig builder. Rig builder is our system configurator developed by my brother Yao, and it's a great little tool for you guys to get some prices from Amazon. So let's take a look, shall we? All right, and the uh, rig builder can be found on the top left-hand corner of the website right there. You can see rig builder right there. Click on that, and what will happen? You'll see is that you've got a category selection there. Uh, we're going to leave it at gaming and we're going to select a budget of say uh, $2,000 say around there. Uh, we're going to select Intel processor and then uh, maybe AMD this time. And we're going to go with uh, NVIDIA graphics card and we're going to hit the submit button. And what will happen is it will go to Amazon and it will get some prices based on your criteria. Alright, so let's take a quick look and hopefully something will come up. Here we go. As you can see, it's already selected the AMD Ryzen 9 5900X core, 12th core, 24 thread processor, which is quite good. I'll, I'll leave it at that. Um, and the motherboard we have, of course, B550 or the uh, X570, which is correct for that processor. We're going to go with the uh, MSI one. I think I like that one. The MSI XPG or MPG uh, X570 Gaming Pro motherboard. Uh, graphics card again is not great. Uh, we need to configure that a little bit. I think uh, prices of graphics card are still quite high for from the original MSRP. So we're gonna leave graphics card for a bit. Moving on to memory, we've got Corsair, we've got Crucial Ballistics. Uh, Corsair seems to be a, a popular brand. Uh, yeah, let's go with that. Let's go with the uh, Corsair Vengeance. And we've got SSDs for your S hard drive. We've got um, Sabrent one terabyte. We've got Kingston. Uh, we're gonna go with the uh, the Sabrent, probably uh, the PCI Gen 4. I like that one. Um, so moving on to the power supply, we got uh, again Corsair EVGA, lots of Corsair, lots of EVGA. I'm gonna go with the uh, Supernova, 1000 watts <laughs> power supply, 80 plus gold. We got move on to the cases. We got Corsair Fractal Design, Razer Tomahawk. Interesting. Oh, okay. I'll select this one this time. Let's see what happens. So once you're happy with the selection, uh, again, if you want to see this mouse, you can actually hover over the actual product. Once you click on it, for example, it will open a new uh, page and it will go into the, uh, uh, the the product in more detail, which is quite good. I like about that feature. So you can always go in there and check out the actual product in more detail by, by clicking on the link. All right, so once you're happy with the selection, all you need to do is hit the uh, buy all and it will take you to the Amazon page to look at all the prices and all the items that you selected and any items which are not uh, in in stock it will actually mention right here right there but uh, everything seems to be in stock and once you're okay with that hit the, the add to cart and it will take you then to the shopping cart of Amazon and it will automatically then of course go through the process you can buy it then so it's a great tool uh, the good thing about this tool is that once you select the processor, it will match the uh, correct uh, board that goes with the uh, processor. And of course, you can actually, if you're not happy with that list, you can always go back to the list, reselect a particular brand that you like, 
or a particular model that you like and then hit the buy all and it will go back and we kind of uh, list those products for you all right okay so that's rig builder for you so thanks Yao. we could be adding more features to this rig builder over the next couple of months we could be seeing like processors uh, the the memory size uh, the hardware capacity and maybe power supply kind of um, uh, output as well so you can have actually more features on this rig builder uh, in the coming months we'll see we'll see so hope you enjoyed that please continue to support us by using rig builder whenever you can or, or recommend it to your friend so that's rig build for you our system configurator right let's head over the chat and see what's going on Hey, thanks, guys. Actually, be I'll be seeing my brother over the summer um, this year, so we'll, we'll probably talk to him about Rig Builder and how we can actually implement more features to it. So we'll see. Fingers crossed. We'll have more um, stuff for you guys over the next few months and later on in the year. Okay, so that's Rig Builder done, and you know what time it is. Yes. Yes, you know what time it is. It is time for... It's time for Funky Kids Mods of, of the week. week. Yes, Mods of the Week taken from our Extreme PC modding group. We have over 86,000 members, so thanks guys for joining. It's a great place to get some modding ideas. And of course, if you have any mods that you want to post, head over there and start posting your mods. So, let's take a look at the uh, Extreme PC modding group. Here we go. And as you can see... Yes, we have 86,000 members. Thanks, guys, for joining. Uh, let's start with this one right here. This is the, um, I think it's the Azus build with the Azus case. And they also have the uh, uh, the Earth Force Defense. Is this Defense Force? It's basically Gundam-themed um, mod. Yes. And it has the... Uh, the all-in-one cooler with the white braided uh, cables, uh, tubing. Very nice. Uh, moving on, uh, you can see that. It's quite nice. I like the RAM. This, I think this is the Corsair RAM, right? The uh, LEDs. Yeah, I've seen, actually seen this in in uh, in well in the flesh. <laughs> um, it's got the Strymer. It's, oh, it's got the Strymer, the Lianli Strymer. Um, extension cables there so yeah this is the Strix RG Gundam edition of the uh, RTX very nice oh so nice I quite like it it's a it's a pretty much standard build there's no real custom loop in there but it's an all-in-one which is a nice uh, white braided tubing uh, it has that kind of the the original theme color, which is the yellow, red, and blue, um, and the Dominator RAM looks really goes really well with the system. Uh, and I like the um, that panel there with the with the Gundam logo right there. So I, I, I'm gonna give this a, a good eight. It's a white and black theme PC at the board. Everything looks very clean. Uh, yeah, I really like it. So I'm gonna give it an eight for this one. All right, so moving on to the next one here. This is not built, but it's a chassis project. Um, I'm seeing a lot of people now creating their own chassis or their own open style, open case, open themed um, PC case. Uh, it's, it's something that I think is gonna be really popular over the next few months. As you know, I've just recently built the project vertical as an open chassis kind of theme uh, PC uh, build. And yeah, it, the good thing about the open chassis style is that you can actually mount anything on it without the restrictions of the case dimensions and, and the restrictions of the internals of the case. Uh, so you don't have any side panels or top panels or back panels to deal with. Everything is kind of open so that you can actually fit more things and do more things with it. So I do like open chassis designs. All right. Uh, this got the music we'll skip the music here we go this one it's it's okay uh it's it's got that you know themed yeah the the deadpool theme in it it's okay i i, I like to i like graphics card with a nice themed backplate 
and you can see that there's a, a nice themed black uh, backplate there with the uh, uh, Deadpool. It's got the uh, Strymer Plus uh, R uh, RGB extension cables there. Nice. Looks like G Skill RAM there. Um, but it's okay. It's a nice, nice build, I guess. Nice. Okay. Oh, is that the LCD in front? Oh, yeah. I, I do like LCDs in the front as well. Going with the uh, the theme. So, I'll probably go. I'll give it a 7.4. Oh, actually, I changed my mind. I'm going to say 7.5, but uh, I'm going to give it an 8. I do like graphics. Yeah. The artwork on the side panels make all the difference. Um, you have the Deadpool theme there. So, I'm going to give it an 8 for this one as well. I quite like it. All right. Moving on to the next one. This is not built yet, but it has a nice um, water cooling loop in there. What well, appears to be EK. Or oh, is it bits power? I think it's bits power. Yeah, it's not quite ready yet. Yeah, bits power. So I'll we'll wait for that to finish. This is a one picture, um, but this is the oh Bitfenix um, kind of mini ITX case and I quite like it it has that kind of handle bar on the other side which I, I do like handlebars I don't know why I do like a handlebars in the case it, it just makes it easy to carry around and um, this one's a mini ITX it looks like it's the boards flipped upside down which uh, s some systems are okay like that uh, and that graphics card looks pretty decent without that kind of um, casing it looks like a, an extra cooling kind of effect there so nice build um, clean build I'm gonna give it a 7.5 yeah for this one all right moving on what is this one this one dual loops green coolant for the uh, monoblock for the CPU and board uh, and the kind of blue coolant translucent there for the uh, graphics card um, got a ton of fans in there nice dominator RAM uh, it looks okay it looks it looks decent this this angle on the tubing is unusual but uh, I'll, I'll probably give this um, I'll probably give this an 8. Yeah. Any any uh, custom loop is, is definitely 7 plus. Uh, this one's an 8 for me. Yeah, this one's 8 for me. There's my review of the uh, Thermaltake Tough Ram RCDDR5 4800. Go and check out the full review on our website and also the video on our YouTube channel. Alright, this one's not fully built yet, so I'm going to leave that. Alright, let's have a look at this one. This one looks fairly decent. It's got the G-Skill RAM in there. I'm not sure what... Oh, EK. EK with a block. Okay, it's got EK fittings. Um, oh, it's kind of like a... Oh, oh, it's, oh, oh, it's a distro plate back. at the. See that back plate there? That's a complete distro plate there. Wow, okay. Um, it looks very nice. Oh, look at the cabling on this, boy! Check it out. Look at that. Don't tell me you're gonna go wrong on this. One. This this cabling. I'm gonna give it like oh, just for the cabling. I'm gonna give it nine. I'm gonna give it nine out of ten on this one. Check it out. And ha, this distro plate there is like an L-shaped distro plate with the pump, of course. Uh. This it's singularity computer. Okay, wow. Look at the cabling management on this one. Superb. Definitely a nine for me on this one. And this is the uh, the Spectre three. Wow. Super. Got full marks for having the RAM uh, accessible RAM. No tubing all over it, so all good. Uh, the cabling just stands out on this one. I love the cabling on this one. It may, looks, look at it. It's actually the guy knows about this. He actually did the cabling so that it looks as if it was the 
the main feature of this PC and the whole reason why you can see that. This is this is an eyepiece. So this one I'm gonna give it nine definitely. Possibly nine point five even. Yeah, got the uh water block there, looks really nice. And of course everything goes well with the red coolant. Red, blue and grey kind of theme going on there. Wow. Definitely a nine for me for this one. Possibly 9.5. But yeah, I love this. Amazing. All right, moving on. Um, we've got this one here. Is this fully built? It's kind of half built. Not quite ready yet. But uh, it's okay. Uh, I will see when it's fully built. This one, let's have a look. Okay, um, blue coolant, ROG, power supply there, uh, Maximus Sports, Dominator RAM, Strymer, Lianli Strymer cables. This one's, uh, I, do, I do like the way that it's nice and clean, loops okay. Points deducted for the uh, RAM. I can't, I can't access the RAM there, um, but um, it's, it's okay. I'll probably give it a. I'll probably give it an eight for this one. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, now nah, same. Maybe seven point five. There's no actual theme behind this. It's just a loop build. Um, you know, there's, there's no artwork or paint work. I'll probably give it a seven point five. If the guy did a little bit of pink work, a bit of artwork, maybe some unusual bends on the on the uh, on the loop, then yeah, I'll give it seven point five for this one. Here we go. There's the uh, the video of the uh, tough RAM RCDDR5. Go and check it out on our YouTube channel. All oh, right, this one is a nice pick. Uh, this one I talked about I think last week. This is the the chassis I was talking about. In, in fact, you can actually buy this. Uh, this chassis is uh, very similar to the one I bought uh, with the uh, Project Vertical, um, the graphics card like that. However, uh, this one has no handlebar, mine has, and uh, on the other side of this chassis, it's the uh, all-in-one radiator you should actually mount, and also the power supplies on the other side as well. So this guy's actually used, of course, the PCI riser cable to get a vertically mounted graphics card. Um, but this chassis, I possibly can maybe do a, a project on. Um, the guy hasn't actually done any uh, real paint work or custom modding on this one. It's everything is all standard components. Um, so I'll probably give it a 7.5. Now look at this one. This is the kind of mod that I'm talking about. Look at the loops on this. <laughs> look at the loops. Look at those bends. The corkscrew bend there. Look at the number eight on the top left. Oh, right hand side there. Look at that. Amazing. That's crazy. Uh, and this, of course, graphics card is actually at an angle, 45 degree angle there. Uh, two loops, one's for the CPU, one for the uh, graphics card, and you've got that LCD display right in the middle there. It's not every, it's not to everyone's taste. I know that this, this particular case, the tower uh, from Thermaltake, it's not to everyone's taste. I, I, I like the mini version, the T100. Um, this one, of course, is not the T100, it's the full 900 case, I believe. Uh, and, but yeah, you've got the dual loops in there, and, and look at those bends, look at those corkscrew bends there. Um, I, I'm going to give this an 8.5, 8.5, possibly 9, but uh, yeah, look at that, that's just nuts. Oh, Batman theme case, here we go, that's a nice Batman theme case, very simplistic, black, yellow themed, and of course it has the uh, NZXT case in there. And, the, and you got that yellow strip where you have the cable um, kind of cover there. PSU cover with the NZXT logo, yellow. The graphics card, the fan grills, or one of the fan rings, two of the fan rings are actually painted yellow. 
and you've got this Batman kind of um, star weapon thing, which is logo on the actual water block there. So, not bad. Very simplistic, but nice design. Gotham City there. Look at that. That's a nice Batman logo there. The internals are nice too. Nice yellow um, kind of matching color scheme. So I, I'll probably, I'll go, I'm going to give this a 8.5 as well. Although there's no custom loop in there, but the, the simplistic design and the matching color scheme goes really well. So 8, 8.5. Batman, yeah. All right, look at this one here. Another open chassis design. Uh, I'm not sure who actually built this. Is is this? Uh, oh, Simultic, of course. <laughs> it says it right there. <laughs> so Simultic design. Oh, this is the distro case. Distro case. So uh, the whole back plate of the where the board mounts. Onto the sh the chassis, the, sh the back plate. It's actually a distro plate. Um, it's not cheap though, by the way. <laughs> this thing here is very expensive, but it goes really well. Uh, it's got this kind of yellow gold thing going on there. Uh, it's got the Tai Chi graphics card, so you've got the Tai Chi uh, as rock there. Probably the um, the Radeon 6800 XT or the 6900 XT. Uh, but yeah, very nice black tubing. Uh, you got the thermal take, digital plate, the fans are the quad ring fans. Look at that, very nice with the gold kind of the coolant, kind of gold coolant looking coolant. It's the oh, it's the B550 Tai Chi, so very nice. Everything goes really well with the, the color scheme, um, even the cables as well. I like the cables. This one, I'll, I'll, I'll give it a, an 8. Yeah, 8.5. I mean, if the guy did more paintwork on the actual radiator there, and possibly on this PSU cover, but everything is a very nice clean build, so I'm gonna give this an 8. Look at that. Boy, this this uh, digital plate is not cheap. Very nice build. Okay, I think I've seen this one before. Um, the wooden PC from uh, NZXT. It's, uh, well, it's not really wood. It's it's the I think it's the decals, maybe um, designed, put into there. Um, but it looks okay. It looks okay. It's not real wood, by the way. Oh, we've got a Noctua cooler in there. The brown and beige to go with the uh, the whole wood looking kind of PC. So, and you got the back plate of the graphics card as well with that uh, color scheme. Or even the front, the case, cooling the radiator. The radi oh yeah, well front of the case with the Noctua fans in there. Very Noctua looking. I'll, I'll, I'll probably give us a seven point five. Let's have a look at this one, one photo, but uh, it's, it's got some nice RGB going on there. <laughs> Not everybody's into RGB, I know, but uh, this has got some some really nice RGB in there. And I like the way he did the uh, the bends on the actual tubing. So um, you have accessible RAM. So, uh, oh, okay. I'll probably give this a, a 7.5. Uh, I, I, I do like the way that you actually put the bends away from everything so we can actually have access to the actual board on the RAM. So, yeah, I'll probably give it a 7.5 for this one. Oh, it's a Rajin Tech Pian. Pian. Premium case. Alright, here we go. The review of the Gigabyte Z690 Aorus. 
Ultra taken uh, on our website. Go and check it out with the full video as well. Let's have a look at this one. Uh, it's the guys actually built the whole thing. Is is them? They're meant to be covers to go with this. Oh, the guy's just taking the covers off. Oh, here we go. All oh, right, here we go. Um, very compact. Uh, yeah, it's kind of mini ITX system, but the cabling though. Oh, come on. Do something with the cabling. And what's that fan on top just sitting on there? Oh boy. Could have put some RGB fans in there. No, it's just a, this is just a system build, nothing special. I'll probably give it a I'll probably give it a six. So, yeah, maybe a seven. Six. Six point five. Now oh this is nice. This is the the Legion uh, PC. Monster themed, huh? Monster energy drink. Okay. Um, monster. Oh! Oh, check it out. There's at the bottom here, I'm not sure if it's a real fridge, but uh, if it's actually a real um, cooler for cans and drinks, but uh, in there you have. Uh, yeah, a stash of drinks, the monster drinks. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six cans of drinks you can actually put in there. I'm not sure if it actually chilled. I'd be surprised if it isn't. I'm sure you can actually put a cold plate in there or a thermoelectric chiller in there. So that's possibly. Nothing actual that makes it really stand out. This, I mean, this is all in one cooler. You can actually put the monster logo on the actual LCD. The neon green kind of fan, uh, nothing really special. Well, I'll probably give this a, a seven. All right, I saw this last time with the tough uh, gaming and the RG logos. Ooh, did I look at this last time? No, I didn't. Look at this. <laughs> look at the bends on this boy. I, I don't know, you know, some people don't like these bends, but I'm get I'm taken into this liking of these bends. I mean, look at them. It it's it's not messy. It's part of the the, the design or theme, and I like it. It's uh, it 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 only looks good in a certain angle, I guess. But if you build a PC based on this kind of unusual bends. Uh, then that makes the PC stand out and for this it, it actually stands out so and you have accessible RAM which is great as well so I'm gonna give this uh, I'm gonna give this an 8 not everybody likes these bands uh, and they look good on certain PC systems I like them this one I, I'll give it an 8 All right, moving on. Uh, I think we saw this some time ago. Uh, this Venom PC, I believe I also seen before. Uh, and also this one. All right, we'll do one more and uh, we'll take a break after that. All right, I think I'm seeing this one. Have I seen this one? Oh, yes, I talked about this last time. Uh, the open chassis. Very simplistic, I like it, very nice, look at that. Oh, so earlier we saw the uh, open chassis with the uh, full motherboard and it had the, um, this particular logo on the top. So this, that was a full size ATX. This, this one, here's the mini ITX. And uh, a mini ITX, again, it it's, looks so much better than the full size ATX because of the size, you can actually mount it and design your build around the size of your board and it's all compact and everything so I do like this one look at the neatness on this everything's on top as well so you can actually just plug everything from the top rather from the side um, this one although it looks simplistic if the guy did some pink work on the actual chassis itself maybe paint it white or get some color themes going on it, it, we would get a really good uh, uh, score. So for this one, even though it's plain, 
it looks really nice I like it I'm gonna give this an 8 all right so um, mods of the week covered I think that's it for this week so hope you enjoyed that of course please subscribe and join our extreme PC modding group as a great place to get some modding ideas and if you have any mods that you want to post head over there and start posting and share with everyone about your mod and your project so if you enjoyed that that was mods of the week taken from our extreme PC modern group all right so if you guys haven't noticed uh, of course we have funky kit merchandise right now you can actually buy head over to streamlabs.com slash funky kit slash merch buy some funky kit merch of course it will support us uh, with the proceeds to of course it will help us when they run the show all right there it is check out we've got hoodies we've got t-shirts baseball caps and all sorts so uh make sure you check it out streamlabs.com slash funky kit slash merch head over there and get yourself some funky kit merchandise all right so we're going to take a break and we'll come back after the break we'll do of course the crypto update and then we're going to take a look at the x art nintendo game boy color theme or frame and um, of course we've got some prize giveaway announcements and we're going to do a live prize giveaway as well on the show so enjoy the break we'll come back right after this so don't go away
Hey guys, and welcome back. Yes, welcome back to the show, The Funky Kid Show Live with your host Winston, that's me. And hope you enjoy that short break. And we'll come back with a crypto update. Yes, let's do that right now. And of course, before we do that, let me uh, play this little uh, jingle. It's time for Funky Kit's crypto update. Remember, Winston is not a financial advisor, so please be sure to seek professional advice with your investments. That's right, it's crypto update, and of course, make sure that you seek professional advice. We are only just giving you some information. Uh, what you do with your own money is up to you, and the risk is all down to you. All right, we're going to take a look at some of the prices that has been happening in crypto. Let's check it out. CoinMarketCap.com. Uh, if you look at this little right column right here in the middle there, that's what's been happening over the last seven days. So all cryptos are down, right? So they're gone down, and uh, it's um, it's all lost. Lots of news to do with, of course, the continuing war and everything, and of course, oil, gas prices going up and stuff like that. But um, I, I I usually look at it if it dips, kind of round about two to three percent. It's the time to buy. So it is a good time to buy if you can afford it, right? So of course, if you have any like spare money, like fifty or hundred dollars, buy into it. And the reason why I'm continuing, continually telling people to buy is because uh, when the dips happen, it's a good chance uh, they'll go back up, and it's a discount price. Yeah. So if you look at the seven-day column right there, everything is down. Good time to buy if you can. Um, but yeah, we're looking at uh, lots of news happening with Ether, Ethereum. Um, you've got the merge, which is happening right now, and that will actually reduce the gas fees, which is the transaction fees of all Ethereum transactions. Uh, before the merge, before the network upgrade, uh, transaction Ethereum transactions were really expensive. Some people were saying up to like $50 just for a transaction per one. Um, now they've uh, upgraded or planning to upgrade or continuing to upgrade. And of course, you got the merge happening. So, uh, and transaction fees have fallen right down, um, which is great. And now there's a big, uh, I think, I think there's a big bullish run on Ethereum. So, if you can, get yourself some Ethereum. Uh, think big things gonna happen with Ethereum. Uh, if you think about it, a lot of the uh, NFTs and the NFT marketplace, DeFi, the decentralized finance, and all that kind of stuff, is all based on Ethereum, right? So you've got the programming behind all of that, all the transaction stuff. It's all with Ethereum. So why not get yourself some Ethereum? Uh, it's a good price now. Remember, on the peak, around about October last year, November, I think, it was actually around about 4,008, okay? Almost hitting 5,000. And this year, I'm thinking it will hit 5,000, no problem. So if you do, think about it, that's over a 30% increase or even 50% increase. So uh, again, you don't buy whole amounts. Buy fractions, right? Or whatever dollars worth you can per month and remember it's a recurring buy you do it every month and you build up that portfolio so the same thing what I mentioned last week about Bitcoin and the halving effect right um, so but yeah if you if you look at other coins they're, they're also going up and down Solana is another one it's gone down really it went down to like $70 now is that back up to 114 and this year it could go up to maybe up to $200 like the peak of last year. Uh, at the moment it's 15% down. That's discount price. Look at it as when people look at the, the, uh, the, the volatility. Yes, it can be scary. But you, you play the long term game, right? You're not a day trader. You're not like uh, you don't make a living off uh, cryptos. Think of it as a... Um, I don't know, some as a portfolio, as you save up, you save up all your points. Yeah, it's like saving points, right? So you start saving points and build up the portfolio. And towards the end of the year, you'll see it. You will see it uh, overall, it's actually grown. So 
that said, that's my update for the uh, crypto for this week. Hope you enjoyed that. And make sure, uh, if you get the chance, get some crypto under your belt. Buy the dips. And always buy what you can afford to lose. All right. So with that said, then let's move on to the chat and see what's going on. Cognic 25, I think it will go down even more. Possibly, possibly. Um, so if you have that tendency to think about the dips and like if you have a hundred dollars say for example you can buy now buy 50 and then save the other 50 when it the dips go further down you buy another 50 right um but uh it's something that you need to do regular every month right so people then tend to say oh or think they buy now or buy one lot of cryptos and then just leave it and then wait that doesn't actually work well you need to continually buy uh, every month. And I told you that story, uh, you know, a couple of years ago when I first got into crypto, it was 2018. After the massive dip in 2017, it'll crash down, right? It will crash down that down to probably three to four thousand per Bitcoin. But uh, of course, I wasn't buying that much. I was buying like hundred dollars here, hundred dollars there. Uh, over the next course of the two years, so 2018, 2019, I was buying every month, maybe 100, 150 possibly every month, and um, I was getting nowhere. Uh, it was going like this, yes, but it wasn't. It wasn't. It was slowly gradual, but it was so. It was a long game. Think about the long game. And uh, at one point, I think it was in 2019, I was. I was so disheartened and, and uh, I kind of just got a little bit discouraged and I was going to just cash out and just forget about it. But I stuck with it. And then the halvening effect happened in 2021 and then it shot up. And um, yeah, you got to play the long game and you got to have patience. That's what I'm saying. And you keep on buying every month. By the time the halvening comes in effect, your portfolio has grown. So you have those ready when it goes up anyway um up to do up to you what you want to buy up to you want to how you handle it but just read up on it find out a bit more before you go into cryptos but uh, i'm just uh, speaking from experience so yeah time i mean now right now is the dips get some what you can all right moving on yes the next part is of course the x Art nintendo game boy color frame all right, so what's that? So let me uh, get that off you to show you what I mean. Let me uh, get that and that. Here we go. I have it right here. This is interesting. Check it out. <laughs> so this frame um, is from x Art. Uh, here we go. Let me just get the actual box itself. I don't know if you actually pronounce that. Is that x Art? x Art? x x yeah. Anyway, um, they sent this through, and it's basically a Nintendo Game Boy color, but it's exploded. Yes, I say exploded. This, it's exploded in a way that it's actually mounted onto this frame, so you can see all the components. And um, what I like about this is that it's great for hanging on the wall, right? And if you have a man cave, so guys, if for the people who don't know what man cave is, <laughs> Wikipedia it. Yeah, go have a find a, a man cave wiki. Basically, it's your own little uh, den. We have all your um, whether it's computers, consoles, posters. If you're into your Star Wars, whatever, it's your own place. You can have this on your wall. Maybe put some LED lighting on the top and uh, the bottom right there. And it, I think it'll look good. It's got the Nintendo kind of you know really retro feel to it and uh yeah it's actually a the full game boy console but everything's taken apart and exploded into this kind of frame and you have all the buttons yeah you have all the buttons and the up and down the control buttons there the a and b buttons you also have the um the actual pcb board look at the size of that thing even back then uh, and then you have the CPU. Yeah, it's a sharp CPU, Nintendo chip. And you have um, the actual back 
kind of case there with the the A triple A so it's triple A double A double A power batteries, two of them. You can actually fit in there. But again, I don't think it works. So don't think about taking it apart and reassembling it. I don't think it actually works. It's more of a really uh, just a frame, picture frame for you can actually put in into your wall or you know, hang on your wall. But uh, yeah, I, I, it's great. They also, the x they also do them in different, um, they also have the Game Boy, the original Game Boy, the, L the, the LCD, not, not the color one. And they also have uh, iPhones, the first edition iPhones, the iPhone 3 and things like that. And they also have um, the Game Boy Advance. Yeah, uh, all exploded in this type of uh, frame. And um, you can actually buy it from x -Real. Post it on the, look at that, hang on the wall. It looks pretty great, yeah? Get some LED lighting there. So I actually got the, uh, the video uh, on it on YouTube right now. You can check it out and also you can see the article. Uh, it'll get posted next week as well. So yeah, and I'm gonna maybe give that away in another show, which I can't say too much about, but yeah, this will be on our retro show uh, on another podcast. Yeah. All right, so that was the x Art Game Boy Color frame, the Nintendo Game Boy Color frame. Okay, well, that said then, let's talk about uh, prize giveaway announcements. Yes, we have some prize giveaways for this month. Uh, let's head over to the website. We got the same board that we didn't give away uh, last time. So let me just get that for you. Giveaways is listed on our website right here. And of course this month we have the same other board, but we've got three of them to give away. Uh, we're gonna be getting two, um, two of these motherboards uh, on the sh on the actual website. So uh, we've got two to give away on the website. All right, and uh, and of course we've got uh, one on our show. So I'm thinking uh, doing the prize giveaway of this motherboard live on our show on the 22nd. Let's have a look. Yes, 22nd of April. We're gonna be doing a live show. Uh, of course, the front show live, and uh, we'll, we'll give one of these away. Got two to give away on our website. Head over to the website right now. Uh, follow, join, like, and share. Whatever you need to do on the on the actual instructions, and uh, you'll be in for a chance to win this uh, fantastic motherboard, the Azrock H470 Steel Legend motherboard. Uh, we have two to give away. Yeah, two to give away on our website. So head over there right now. And uh, and sign up, and we've got one live to give away on our show on the twenty second of April. All right, so those are the prize giveaways that we have on our website right now. And for today's prize giveaway, we're going to be giving away. Well, actually, no, you choose. You choose what you want to win. Okay, so I'm going to do a little uh, poll, and you pick what you guys want to win. And start the poll right now. Head over to twitch.tv slash funkykick, give us a follow, join the chat, you decide what well what you want to win. Uh, we got like t-shirts, we got a mug, we got a mouse mat, baseball cap, string bag, hoodie. Hoodie's been really popular, but now I think t-shirt is gonna be the thing now, right? It's the spring is here in a couple of months, we've got summer. I'm actually modeling a uh, the funky kick t-shirt right here. Check it out. It's available to buy right now on our merchandise store. If you want to check out the merchandise store, we have it right here. Check it out. Uh, we got the funky kit. Here you go. The baseball cap. We got the mug. We got the jacket. We got the backpack. We have T-shirts. This is the T-shirt I'm wearing right now. The navy one, which is our original color. We also have a navy. Oh, so navy the the gray, the white as well. So yeah, funky kit T-shirts. A very affordable at $16, so why not? Get yourself some Funky Kit merchandise. Head over to streamlabs.com slash Funky Kit slash merch. Get yourself some merchandise for Funky Kit. Yes. And of course, all the proceeds will help us run a show, which is great. So thanks, guys, in advance for all of that. All right, so let's head over and have a look at what the <laughs> what you guys want to win. What have you chosen? Head over to streamlabs.com slash funkykit. 
give us a follow and well decide what you want to win enter the commands all right oh we got a tie break yeah we got a tie we got a tie here you go you can see the t-shirt and the uh, here we go and the hoodie is a tie do you know what that means that means we're gonna do a random number generator <laughs> yeah, here we go all right so okay so uh, one would be the t-shirt and two would be the hoodie okay so one t-shirt two hoodie let's hit the generate button and it's gonna be a t-shirt yes uh, something different We've got t-shirt okay cool all right so we're gonna give a t-shirt away yes it's a funky kit t-shirt right there you can see that this is the blue one navy blue navy blue we also have them in the black white gray as well so let's do that right now we're gonna give away a funky kit um t-shirt so let's do that right now here we go we're gonna Do the t-shirt, give me a second, let me type in the commands. Login in and type in the commands, give us a second. And uh, we're giving away a funky kit t-shirt today. Yes, a bit of a change, it's okay. We have plenty more to give away. <laughs> All right. And the prize giveaway has started. Right, all you need to do is type in the command. And we have five minutes for that, okay, guys, uh, for a chance to win a Funky Kit t shirt. Very nice. That. It's great for the summer, and it's only a couple of months away, right? You're not going to wear a hoodie in the summer, right? <laughs> Yes, all the entries are coming in. Thanks, guys, for participating. Oh, by the way, for next week, we have uh, some interesting uh, topics and reviews. We have a, a monitor from Chris. He'll be reviewing that. And, of course, uh, the x um the Nintendo Game Boy frame, color frame, uh, which we will then, of course, uh, show you what it's about. You can take a, a photo, you can watch the video on our YouTube as well, and of course get a link to actually buy it. Uh, it's great for your man cave, uh, hang on your wall, things like that. Uh, we're also going to be doing a, um, a review on some new RAM from Geel, G E I L. Uh, that's a Taiwanese brand. They uh, we got the Polaris uh, model, or yeah, the the Geel Polaris. DDR5 RAM, so we're going to be reviewing that in the course of a couple of weeks. And we also got coming, uh, yeah, the Cougar, Cougar Gaming Chair. We've got a Cougar Gaming Chair, which is going to be arriving sometime next week as well. Um, and, uh, of course, we did the Cooler Master one, which is really nice. And we'll take a look at that uh, in more detail in one of our shows, possibly next week, uh, looking at that as well. So, so yeah, so we've got some lots of new content coming in. So do check it out, and of course share our content, like our page, share our social media as well. Okay, so for you guys who've just joined the show, welcome. This is the Funky Kit Show live with your host Winston. That's me. We have prize giveaways every month, uh, premium prize giveaways uh, at the end of every month. Uh, and of course, you need to be a Twitch subscriber for that. Head over to twitch.tv slash and subscribe. And uh, for all of you other guys who just want to follow, then we have weekly prize giveaways on our show. Uh, of course, all you need to do is follow us and share our content. That's fine. And of course, type in the commands to win uh, merchandise from us and also some free giveaways that we have randomly. But the premium prizes are usually at the end of the month. So subscribe for that. Yes. Right, yes, the command is, of course, exclamation mark, plus I love Funky Kit merch. Yes, I'm, I'm sure you do. <laughs> All 
And for you guys who want to support us, uh, no matter what, and you want to get yourself some funky merchandise, uh, head over to the website. Here you go, streamlabs.com slash funky slash merch. I'm going to type that in the, com here you go, the chat. You can see that there. Yes, we have four baseball caps. We have the, uh, the mug. We've got jackets, backpacks, t-shirts, hoodies, string bags, mouse mats, and of course, flip-flops. You know, t-shirts and flip-flops are great for the summer. So for today's giveaway, we're giving away a Funky Kit t-shirt available in the black, navy blue, gray, and white. Yes. And even if you don't want to um, participate in the prize giveaway and you want to get some Funky Kit merchandise direct, just head over there. The link is in the actual chat. And uh, yeah, any support is much appreciated. Of course, any proceeds will help us run a show. So thanks in advance for that. All right. We've got about a minute left. Head over to twitch.tv slash funkykit. Give us a follow and join the uh, chat. Type in the commands for a chance to win this Funky Kit t-shirt available in black, navy blue, white, and gray. Yeah, it's very nice, nice fitting. This is a medium size, by the way. Uh, check out the, uh, when you do actually win, click on the link to claim your prize. Uh, available sizes are small, medium, large, extra large, and any size after extra large, you need to, I think, you need to pay a little bit more, maybe a dollar, it's okay. A dollar or two, I can't remember. All right, thanks guys for joining the show. Please share, and of course, uh, it's always welcome if you, of course, have any friends that you want to kind of restream our streams to other channels as well. All right. Okay. So I'm going to count down to five, and uh, we're going to pick a winner. Okay. Are you ready? All right. Let's do this. <laughs> When it comes to live prize giveaways, this guy is a beast. <laughs> Winston Chim and Funky Kid. That's right. The beast of the computer world. That's what they call me because we give away stuff for free. Okay, so let's hit the uh, let's hit the button. Should we? Let's pick a winner. All right, here we go. Count down to five and we're going to get a winner out to you right now. Here you go. Five, four, three, two, one. And the winner of the Funky T-shirt is going to be... Pandab! Wow! You won something last week! That's crazy! How come you're winning stuff every week? Must be luck. Anyway, click on the link and claim your prize. And of course, you are a lucky winner of the Funky Kit T-shirt. I want to give you a clap because I think... And also... You must be, well, well, you must be awesome. You must be awesome because you keep on winning stuff. All right, so um, that is it. Hope you um, enjoyed the show. And don't forget, uh, we have plenty of prizes to give away. Don't worry. Every week, we got stuff to give away. All right, guys? And uh, join the show for next week. And next week, we have, I think, the gaming chair. Uh, from Kudomaster, we'll look into that in more detail and of course we got another gaming chair in our reviews uh, from Kuga as well, that's also coming. So hope you enjoyed the show this week and uh, we'll see you next week. So in the meantime, stay safe, have a great weekend and we'll see you next time. Bye bye. <laughs>